สวัสดีค่ะ Hi guys and welcome to Panana Pa Kitchen. In this video, I would like to talk about coffee lime leaves. I would like to show you how to store them and how to use them in Thai cooking. All right, guys, let's get into it. In this video, I will be talking about three main topics, and the first one is how to use coffee lime leaves in Thai cuisine. Second part is how to store the leaves, and lastly is the basic ways to prepare the coffee lime leaves for Thai cooking. All right, guys, let's start with the first one. In Thai cuisine, we use a lot of coffee lime leaves in dishes such as soup and salad, but they are used in different way. If you going to infuse the leaves in soup, you just want to simply tear it into smaller pieces. But if you use it in the salad, usually we slice it very thinly, so it is easy to eat. Right now, I would like to show you how to store the leaves. If you happen to get a lot of them and you don't know how to keep them for a long time, because you don't really get them that often, especially if you live overseas. The first thing that we are going to do is we're going to pick off all the leaves from the stem. Make sure you clean them and dry them properly first. And be careful because they are quite thorny and it hurts when it gets into your finger. So simply just break the leaves off the stem like this and throw away the stem. You won't need it. All right, now that we are done, I will show you two different ways to store the leaves. The first way is to store them in the fridge, and the second way is to store them in the freezer. I will also talk about pros and cons of these two methods. To store them in the fridge, usually I like to use Tupperware, but you can also use plastic bag if you like. And the method is very similar to storing other herbs if you have watched my previous video before basically you just need to lay paper towel at the bottom of the box and put kaffir lime leaves inside don't overcrowd them about not more than two layers on top of each other then you can put another paper towel and do the same thing. This method will keep the leaves fresh and therefore it won't go soggy or dried out like when you just leave it in the fridge without putting in a box and cover with paper towel. When you're done, you can just close the lid and store in the fridge in the vegetable section and they will be good for at least a week or two. All right. Now let's take a look at the second method, which is storing them in the freezer. To store the leaves in the freezer, I just simply put them in the freezer bag. Nicely, so it will be easier when you use them. All right, when you are done, try to squeeze out as much air as possible. And this is the reason why I use freezer bag instead of putting them directly in the box. If you have a vacuum machine, that would be perfect. All right, now we are done. When you store fresh leaves in the fridge, they will last not as long as in the freezer um, because it will stay for like up to six months or even more if you store in the freezer. But the pro is that when you add them into salad, it tastes a lot better, like very fresh and crunchy, whereas the one that you store in the freezer, it will be it will turn into dark brown color and go soft. When you add to the salad, it's still edible, but the taste is not as nice as the fresh one. All right, let me show you the first method, which is the easiest one. This one is very good if you want to add the leaves into soup and just to get the aroma from it without eating them. You can just simply break them into smaller pieces like this easily with your hand. It doesn't have to be too small. You just want it to break so that the aroma can come out of the leaves. 
I would just tear it once. But if the leaf is really big, of course you can go twice. And this is how I would do it to add into tom yum soup or tom kha gai soup. The second method is a little bit more tricky. And this is to slide them thinly and add them into salad. Why is it tricky? Because if you slide them too thick, it would be unpleasant to eat. And here is how I like to do it. I would break the leaves and put them one on top of another. You can put more if you use more. And then I would roll them tightly. This will make it a lot easier when you slice. And then press them onto a cutting mat. With your finger, I like to use my thumb to press at the end of the leaves and then another hand with a knife. It also would help a lot if your knife is sharp. And here it is, our thinly sliced cassia lime leaves ready to be added into salad. All right guys, and that is all for today. If you have any questions, you can always write me a message, my Facebook page or Instagram, or even under the video. I will be right there to answer you. If you find that this video is helpful, don't forget to help me by subscribing to my channel, like the video, and I will make sure to send you useful video like this in the future. I hope you have a great day and enjoyed your Thai cooking. I will see you in the next one. Thank you. I would like to tell you a little bit about my cooking course for those of you who are interested in start learning how to cook Thai food from the very basic. I have a Thai basic cooking foundation course where I'll be walking you through from the very beginning. I only accept 10 students each month for this course so I can focus to every one of you who are serious about learning Thai cooking and wants to bring your Thai cooking skill to the next level. If you are interested in joining me in the class, you can get the link in the description section that I provide to you to sign up and I will be in touch with you. Thank you very much for today and I hope you have a great day. สวัสดีค่ะ